Good morning everyone and welcome to 2016. Today we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program Career Mode and I'm really excited to be starting a new career mode on this. Uh, with the version 1.0.5 there's been a number of changes to like the drag resistance on your shuttle and everything when you're going into space and through the atmosphere. So I'm, pr I'm pretty much, you know, proper excited to be playing this. And I'm, uh, I'm glad to be making back videos. It's been about three weeks since I made a video, so here we go. Let's uh, take a little look around. So I remember that you can upgrade all these buildings. You've just got to right-click on these, but it's way too early for that. So first things first, I'm going to go in and do my first two uh, contracts. So we have gather scientific data from Kerbin. Pretty simple. And launch our first vessel. Now I'm not going to hang around on these missions because these are all way too easy, pretty much. Um, how was your Christmas anyway, by the way? Did you have a good one? I had a really, really good one. I went back to England to see my family, hence why I haven't been making any videos. But uh, I'm back now, and I'm better than ever. Or so he says. <laughs> Alright, so this is pretty much our first rocket, and this should enable us to achieve both of these contracts here. Um, launch our first vessel and gather scientific data from Kerbin. So that's pretty much all we need to do. We won't even give this one a name. It doesn't need a name, I don't think. So what kind of presents did you guys get for Christmas? Did you get anything good? I got the usual socks and deodorants and shower gels, all that good stuff, you know. A little bit of money, but nothing spectacular. But I did get a new Patreon sponsor, so thanks for that. That was from um, Elfwin. Thank you ever so much. If you want to join in and sponsor me on Patreon, just go to www.patreon.com dot com forward slash redneck einstein and you can help me make this channel a success all right let's board back on here now we can take all of our little reports there's a nice bit of science we got already so we're just going to take off and fire into the stratosphere look at that beauty i, I love these little uh, sol solid fuel boosters they're just amazing but i'm not going to be able to get too far up here but we should have met both of our achievements. No, we haven't. I think what we need to do is get out of our uh, rocket once we hit the deck. Or hit the ground. Hit the deck is a very English phrase. So once we hit the ground, we'll get out of our rocket and uh, gather what we can. Now, we've gone pretty high here. I'm hoping the rocket is not going to gather too much speed. You have to really be careful. If your rocket's going over sort of 275... Uh, meters per second then you can't really open the parachute hence why I've just opened it there and that has slowed us down oh no parachute destroyed no EVA oh my goodness our first launch is a complete disaster and Jebediah is dead no let's revert to launch and try that one again <laughs> why did that happen then that shouldn't happen normally we're good oh well uh, not to worry our <laughs> first launch is a failure. Now thankfully I'm not being too hard on myself and forcing myself to use um... Wait a minute, what am I trying to say here? <laughs> I've had a brain freeze! No! Uh, never mind. Yeah, not, not that, that's what I'm trying to say. Not forcing myself to wait until or to accept the fate of my Kerbin. That's what I'm trying to say. Well done me. I'm so out of practice I'm recording. <laughs> Well, hopefully now we should be about to land in the water, I would imagine. But I've just got to keep an eye on the speed of this thing. If it goes too fast again, then we are screwed. We should have spent our points on the... That's what we should have spent our points on. On the decoupling thing, so we could have decoupled this show here. Oh, well. Yay, our parachute's working this time. Thank the Lord. Because you do start off with some research points. That's what I did wrong. Okay, never mind. Go on, land, you beast. Wait. Now what we can do is do what I was uh, planning on before, which is get out of our rocket. Out you come, Mr. Jebediah. And do a little EVA report. Oh, lovely. And board. And has that met both of these? Gather scientific data from Kerbin. It hasn't. So what we'll do is, whoa, what's going on here? We'll, uh... We'll gather that scientific data once we're back on another mission. Now, all we got to do, if you're new to the game, I'll explain some of the things as I go along. But if you're not new to the game, then I apologize. Uh, welcome to the tracking station. So this basically is where you can follow all the different ships that you have in orbit or if they've landed on Kerbin. You can recover them by clicking this button down here on the bottom left. Excuse me. 
And here we go. So we just recover it. That gives us some science points. And we get some funds back from recovering parts of our rocket. And Jebediah, as you can see, has gained one XP. Yay. Good job, Jebediah. Even if we only did one contract. Boo. But the good thing is now, on the top up here, you can see I've got 22.6 science points now. So I can just go in this little building. And here is all the parts you can unlock. Now, if I just zoom out, there's a whole bunch of new parts that have been added, which is awesome. They've been added because, well, in the latest updates, I assume, I haven't played this for a while, but there's a whole bunch of new parts. Like, in experimental science, you've got this new large holding tank, narrowband scanner. I've never used any of that, so I'm kind of looking forward to doing it. But for now, we need to spend some points on basic rocketry, I think. So that'll give us these items a little liquid fuel tank another solid fuel booster the hammer ominously named but appropriate considering i'm in sweden the land of thor thor's hammer get it no okay good <laughs> if i unlock this one this is cool because this comes with science junior and science junior will give us more science now we've only got 12.6 science left so we can't unlock anything else so let's leave here for now and try and complete some more contracts what else have we got? We've got test the parachute in flight over Kerbin. Not going to accept that one yet. Let's see what else we've got. Haul into flight above Kerbin. Escape the atmosphere. I think I will do the test of the parachute over Kerbin. That should be fine. We can, we can attain that, can't we? What are we here, noobs? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, it seems I did do that other uh, contract. It accepted the fact that I took some uh, scientific data from Kerbin. Thank you. The water should count as Kerbin. Right, test mark 16 parachute. So we need to be in Kerbin, flying uh, 6,000 to 11,000 meters and quite slow speed. So if you remember from the last contract we just did, this flea solid fuel booster accelerated us way too much. So we're going to need to change our approach for this one. So let's get a nice... Let's get a couple of fuel tanks, I think, to achieve the height they want us to get. And the LVT-30 Reliant. And then, have I got the decoupler? Yes, I have. So I'm going to use that that way. Because one of these parachutes, one of these nose cone parachutes, the Mark 16, will never uh, have the s slow down ability to slow down this big rocket. I mean, this is quite big to start with. All right, so we are going to go. Let's make sure we've got our crew on board. Jebediah, good, good. Our staging is all good, and we are away to launch. Now, I know some of you guys who are following my RimWorld series and stuff do, don't like Kerbal. Sorry, guys, but I absolutely love this game, so I am going to make a big feature of this on my channel. I've been playing a lot over Christmas, like, because I had to use my laptop, and I've nothing... Uh, I mean, it's not powerful enough to run much or many games, or at least not run them and record them at the same time. So that's why I was unable to make videos while I was away in sunny England. I say sunny. It was absolutely chucking down with rain. It was it was, it was unseasonably warm as well, about 12 degrees, 10 degrees, something like that. Whereas now I'm in Sweden, I'm at like minus 19 today as we speak. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm actually going quite slowly on this. Uh, I'm, you, I haven't got much thrust going here because all I need to do is get an altitude of 6,000 meters. But I, I need to be careful of my speed. Uh, I don't want it to be sort of above uh, 160 meters per second. So as long as it's above 50 meters per second, then I'm golden. So I'm just going to slow it down a little bit again with my control button to decrease the thruster. Hopefully we're going to have enough fuel here. I would think so, but you never know. Uh, let's do a little crew report. 3.5 science. Lovely jubbly. Uh, we're unable to EVA right now. Uh, you wouldn't want to anyway because uh, Jebediah would fall off the rocket. But even if I was in space, you're not able to EVA just yet. Uh, you need to upgrade one of your buildings, which I'll show you in good time. Alright, we're nearly there. And are we going to make it? No, we're not going to be fast enough. Alright, so that tells me... We need to revert to vehicle assembly and get a bit, probably get one more fuel tank should suffice, I would think. Let's whack that on there. And some of these videos I'm going to be uh, recording and then voiceovering afterwards due to the time it takes to do certain missions. But at least for now, guys, I'm going to be um, talking while I'm doing some of these missions. Because 
basically it gives you get, it, it allows my initial response to be you know um, it allows my initial response to be taken in by the microphone so you can hear how I feel about something when it happens rather than after the fact which would you know wouldn't be wouldn't be as good you know I think anyway um, yeah so how about that steam sale that was freaking awesome I managed to buy a couple of games on there. I did buy XCOM Enemy Within because when XCOM 2 comes out in February, I'm planning on doing a Let's Play of that with you guys, the subscribers, as my characters, which is going to be a lot of fun. But um, let me just do a little crew report here again. But yes, yeah, so I thought I could get in some practice with XCOM Enemy Within. Time permitting, I would like to make some videos of that just for a bit of practice and uh, to get you guys involved on that as well. See if you like the game. It could be a lot of fun. So let's just decrease my throttle a little bit here. Uh, once I get to the desired altitude and speed, all I'm going to do is press X to get rid of any um, thrust that I've got going on here. And then I can just activate my parachute through my staging sequence, which is perfect. Let me keep an eye on everything here. Yeah, all right, we've got 6,000 meters, and we should be good. There we go. We've tested our parachute, and we're golden. Now we just need to make sure that we're not going to go too fast and rip the parachute off. At least I hope that's not what's going to happen. Remember, we've got a leeway of about 275 meters per second, roughly, I would say, um, before, it tear, before it tears off. Wow, that was a big explosion. Oh, phew, it's opening. Didn't think it was going to open then. I think, it, I think it has a 450-meter opening altitude, something like that. Wait, it looks like we're going to have done our first two contracts here. Let me just see. I'm going to get Jebediah out once I land as well and get him to do a little walk around, give us some scientific data. There we go, we've landed. So, there you go, Jeb. You can let go now, mate. You don't need to hold on. You're safe. Can we do a little EVA report of this? 2.4. I don't think a space suit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Indeed it wasn't, Jeb. Indeed it wasn't. I am a failure. Okay. Grab and board. Get put him back in there. Well, then let's go back to our space center. And recover our ship. See how much um, science and uh, money we recover from parts. All right, so we're back up to 22 science. That's pretty cool. We can unlock some more parts before we finish up the video. There we go. Alright, let's see what parts we can unlock then. So we've got nearly... No, 22.3. I was going to say nearly 30, but it's not. Alright, which one would you choose? If you were me, and you've got 22 science to spend, we can only unlock one of these in this column here. So we can either have extra boosters, which would pretty much... Yeah, it would be good, but we've already got nearly everything this can do. So I think what I'm going to do is go for the survivability. That way we get extra parachutes and we can carry up more scientific instruments such as the Science Junior. Alright, awesome. So let's research that. And that is it for me for this first video. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and consider supporting me on Patreon as we enter this new year. I'm going to be bringing you some amazing games like XCOM 2, hopefully No Man's Sky and a whole bunch of other stuff. So take care, have a wonderful day, and join me on episode two where we'll tackle some more contracts. Bye-bye.